Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, another Ramble uh. Radio, motherfuckers, baby. Mm, mm, but mm. it's a video. Video. Couple of urns that got you, got you right there. Mm. I got a couple of urns. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Could we do an entire ramble, just Vern grunting? I think so. I think we can. Uh, can we pull, pull that off? I, I think, think we could pull that off. I think they would understand the <clears throat> listeners. I'm not, you know, not that trying to say that they're not smart. I think they would get what we're doing. I think they would. Understand. I think they would too. Absolutely, for sure. I'm not one to imply that they're kind of that they're not smart. I would no, never say not. that. No, never say not those that about people. not hard. Not those fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit would you we... stop whoa well ramble radio 389 uh, and you, you think it's just you and i oh yeah oh. yeah well thought we have he's got to get this eg and carol money and he's yeah. probably gonna have to get even more for uh. judge engeron over in that new york civil trial like it's I don't know. I don't know. Alt right Cody's in a in a pickle. Alt right Cody is in a bind right now. Is he calling in some favors? Is uh, I, don't I don't know, know what, what he's he... gonna do. What can he do? What can he do? It's gonna be. It's it shouldn't be, be his responsibility to come up with the money. That's what I don't understand. It shouldn't it's, be. What did he do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, alt right Cody's or Trumps? Cody's. It should. Oh, but Cody. This is Cody's. You know, man. This I know. Is, he signed he up. He takes for on it. too much. He, he it's signed like, up. You know, for it. It, he signed up for this. He's got now. He's got to come up with the fucking uh, cash. I'm, I'm, I mean, is does he have a Via Fana special in the works? Does he? I don't know. I I, don't I mean, know. he threw I, he threw out that great thing where it's like, hey, let's not do a border. De- the border's an emergency, but let's not do a border. Let's deal not fix the a border so I can take credit. I know it's an emergency. I know that's all, but because we're, I mean, we're gonna have we're gonna have shit all to talk about. Oh, he all uh, did. Cody was in midseason form. I don't know if he saw Trump took credit for the economy today. Oh, I did see that. That was that saying was classic that was Viafania. Classic Viafania saying that was an anticipation. Because all the polls are showing Trump winning, that the <laughs> the market's up because they expect him to win. That's classic. How okay? Shit. Chef's kiss, via Fania. Chef's kiss, Cody. How fucking dumb do you have to be to believe that? Could you? I, you know what? And there are. That's the sad part. Is there are people who will believe who read that and go, "All right, they're that they're that fucking stupid." It's it's. I don't know, dude. I'm worried that. Um, well, not. I guess it's. He's gonna look. Trump is gonna get so desperate. He's gonna have a whole new line of trading cards. It's just gonna be. It's Ivanka's tits. I'll show you Ivanka's tits. If you buy, look out. Let's do it. There it is. Ivanka's tits. It's gonna. Ha- I'm w- telling you, that's coming. Buy the whole set. See, both you get the tits. whole set. I'll show you me fucking Stormy Daniels. Although it never happened, she's a liar. But I'll show you the video. I'll show you another group of cards. It's all the women I've sexually assaulted. It's called nasty women. But they're all lying. I never did it. But I'll show you the videos. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get that fucking desperate it's it's is that gonna be his elvis doing karate video is that what we're is that because that's Maybe. the only thing i i'm bummed because i think trump is donezo and i think it's we never got him just again in a gi like beating the fuck out of lindsey graham and them just acting like he's just kicking the shit out of him would you almost would you almost take four more years of him in the white house for that video he was on the if he was in the west if he was on the front lawn of the white house in a karate gi just kicking lindsey graham who's wearing like one of those big padded suits and he has to pretend he's getting hurt like if you could just get like a couple of days of that, was would it be worth another four years? He has to pretend. Just... No, I don't know. But no, would not. But he's just on the front lawn of the White House in the crowd. It would be game. worth if you lied to him and told him he won, and then for two days got that on video like that. You know That'd what I be mean? Fun. Before you kick sure. him out again. Just... Sure. Who sells? Who sells the most? Who sells his fake karate kicks the most? Giuliani? <laughs> oh no, I think Graham. You think Graham really oversells oh, yeah. it? Well, he's got he's got all those pictures of him diddling little boys somewhere. 
So Graham's so, gonna do whatever so he wants. Gra Graham does the uh, the Scott Hall stunner. He oh, just Gra goes yeah. flying up. Graham's there. overselling everything. Giuliani doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> He's just out of his mind. Why are you hitting me? Why are you It was an excuse for my to bring back my just lights out Giuliani impersonation, Eddie. Do you want to do it again? Should I do it again? Please do it again for everybody. <laughs> there it is, man. I just any chance I get to just uh, It's crazy. It's insane that how good you so are we, thank you. at doing Giuliani. Thank, thank you very much. Can we get down to business? Okay. Man, I don't know if you have it handy or if I need to go get it, but what? For those who don't know, Eddie and I and now that I live in Orange County, our gift exchanges yeah. are a little more difficult to plan out for our holiday yeah. gift exchange. Lately. But this is the fourth Christmas Pretty in crazy, a row. dude. How were that, like, linked up? Just where we get each other the exact same gift, not knowing that the other person... Not even... Not planned. Not... Pl come on. We're planning it's this? It's crazy. You think we're planning this? <laughs> oh, no. Should I go get mine? You get yours, I'll get mine. Okay, we'll this be right back. Oh, Ramble Nation, stay put. We'll be right back. This is... All right, if you can hear us. You can hear me, Ramble Nation. I'm back. All right, we're, we're still Ramble waiting on I'm Eddie. coming back. Is... Here we go. Now, our we families... Oh, we're back. They had the temerity to question this, the gumption to question this. Now, the first year we did it, they didn't question. They thought for sure. They were like, what a crazy coincidence. Well, yeah. Who knew? Right. And then it's every out. other year, that happened two years in a row. And they're like, okay, yeah. what's going wow. on? Wow. Then last year, like, okay, guys, why don't you guys just buy what you guys want to buy and stop with the fake. Why did they have to get so negative? Thing. Why did they have to get so negative? And then so this negative? year, it was just eye roll city. Yeah, why did it be so negative? I sorry, don't know. sorry that we're that we just know what to get each other. Sorry that we're we're more linked up with each other than we are with our spouses. Exactly. So we here because hey, chicks just return shit, right? <laughs> Whatever you get, I'm like, ah, I like it. I'll return it. Get some. Well, right. Then, all right. Why am I? Right, I'm not putting any card. effort Here's a into gift this card. shit. We don't can't yeah. give a gift card. That's not yeah, it's personal. It's so impersonal. Well, you know, well, you know what's return... worse is get is seeing you return the shit I got you. That's right. that, so you can buy that something hurts, you want. That that hurts more than than getting a gift card. Is watching you go fucking exchange whatever it is I right. fucking bought you. That hurts more than look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that look at shit. That. Look at that oh. shit. Oh. Look at that shit. Oh. 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 Ooh, first shit. time ever in the line, Hank Pym. For the Hank Pym in the in the prison garb. We we Ooh. did it, man. I'm sorry, but we did, we did it, it. We did it. Fucking did it. We Look did at that it. silver centurion. Look, Look at that. that silver. It's a gorgeous. That that's. A, I think I think because Tigra, we already got her. She already looks good. It's a, a little bit of yeah. a different one. I think that Mockingbird's a bell of a ball of this set. Yeah, that's that a Mockingbird's sweet. a great that fucking. A mockingbird. That's that's some good shit. I don't think right we've gotten there. that one before. That's yeah. Great. So this is anyway. But completely and, unaware, we bought each other these. Who completely. Who knew? Who knew? First year was Alpha Flight. Yeah. Which I think we recorded in Ramble Radio. I think Ramble yep. Radio has that in prosperity. They saw that. Then it was either a Wolverine, uh, I think. Set. Wolverine was Wolverine set. Wolverine yeah, set. Wolverine set. And then what was it? The the third one. Third Second one, one was Spi it. third one was Spider Man and his Spider Man. Enemies, of, and is that that's right? Of, yeah. It was a great uh, black suit Spider Man. Yeah, and his enemies. Sorry, and then this year, sorry, West Coast we're Avengers. Men, we figure things out. Sorry, West Coast Avengers. West Look Coast Avengers. Beautiful. Sorry about that. Jesus Christ. Sorry. I mean, whatever. So, sorry, and men have... know what to get each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. we had a dude. So, I don't know how to. I don't know how to say this. Yeah, I don't want to say it's too loud. Okay. But remember, yeah. I told you about the neighbors that complained. Yeah, they're crazy. About, right? Yeah, about the door slamming and the. So I, I think I told you this, but the the odd the, the, uh, the ramblers. They don't know this. They don't know so about that. Yeah, so two days ago, like about three days ago, Andre and I are driving home, uh -huh. and we passed by the leasing office, 
And the lady upstairs, like she runs and like dramatically tells us to stop the car. And yeah. we're both like, oh, fuck. And so I lower the window and she's like, we have bees. There's <laughs> bees everywhere. There's a swarm of bees in our patio. I'm allergic. Do y'all have bees? And we're like, we've never, I've never seen one fucking bee. I don't know what, I'm like, they're right above us. And so I'm like, what the fuck is she talking? Ain't no fucking bees. And sure enough, there's no bees in our patio. And I don't see right. any in their patio. But then like two days ago, I was dri Andre was driving home and she there was like 40 dead bees like up. Like, we don't know what's happening <laughs> is the point. I'm, so I came back. I had a spot Some Saturday sort of biblical night. event, it sounds it like. It has to be. Like I came back Saturday night, and I was just like at 1 in the morning I, when I got home from my show. I was expecting the dude upstairs to just be standing in the parking lot like Candyman with just like <laughs> fucking 500 bees just coming out of his mouth. Like, what the fuck is happening? It's fucking Nicolas Cage with the fucking <laughs> jar on his head. The bees! The bees! I mean, it was... I. <laughs> I don't know. It was fucking. But I guess my question is: Can bees just go swarm one fucking unlucky apartment? Maybe did, did some they sort just of. Get the maybe Charlie if they've Brown been marked. Cloud of, they've been marked they've by been God. Marked, been, that's what I was wondering if what's said next. It's raining blood upstairs. Is it raining blood for you? <laughs> the first the one child has died in our house. The is falls are bleeding. Are your falls bleeding? <laughs> your balls no. Bleeding? Did the first one child die in your house? Like what the fuck are you talking? <laughs> no. <laughs> Every biblical plague is happening upstairs. <laughs> I don't get it. The only thing we've had is like a fucking grasshopper that fucking big in our patio, just chilling. Oh, that's it. Locusts. That's it. That's one of them. Here comes a swarm. That's, here come. But this isn't a swarm, so I don't know. Maybe the rest of the swarms up there. Maybe one guy was like, "Hey, let me just go see what these guys down here are up to." And they're it's just a little crowded. Swarm. It's a little crowded up there. I'm gonna get some yeah. air. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. <laughs> oh man, here we are. Um, I don't know. If, do do we brag again? Okay. Do but want... um, I don't know if you remember this, but when Dan Campbell became a Dallas Cowboy, I yeah. believe it was. Um, you, do right. we see when that, what year that was? Let me find that first. Maybe, maybe you can become a Dallas Cowboy. Let, let me see. I this have it written then, down here somewhere. And then you can, you can then tell me where you were, right? Right. If that makes sense. Oh, 2003. Yeah. 2003. 2003, I was, okay, I was yeah. here. I was in California. Yeah, yeah. And three. You um, weren't here yet though. You I were was not in California. But you sure did get a message from Mr. Football, didn't you? Right. Yeah. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? And um Yeah, and if you had heard uh, you know, Mr. Football reiterated that prediction um Sunday morning at six AM if you heard uh the come and felt show. Yeah. Come and felch in the mornings. Come and felt um, in the morning, yeah. Very popular in Iowa. I think it's Davenport, Iowa's number one. Big Midwest sport. morning Big show. Big Midwest yes. is come and felt. It's like right below Bob and Tom. Right below Bob ratings. and Tom is come and felt. Bob and Tom and then the come and felt show. You guys like come and felt in the morning? And, uh, yeah, so come and felt, uh, Mr. Football's on there. And he said, hey, I think the Lions get up big early, and I think the Niners close them out at the end. And I yeah. think, um, you know, but now, but so what did, what did Mr. Football tell you, which is crazy. This was 20 years before that appearance years. on come and yeah. felch. And so what, what did you, what happened? Well, it was really weird to me. Cause I, 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 uh, right. opened the letter. I was actually, I was getting one of those, uh, Tracy likes to get those Trader Joe's cereal bars. Ah, sure. Tasty. And the strawberry Tasty. ones pretty good. Yep. And, uh, I actually had one this morning. Oh, Look at that. And I open it up, and inside the wrapper was a note from Mr. Football. Wow. Look at which this. was weird. Yeah. Right. Because I don't even know if Trader Joe's was around in 2003. I'm not even How sure. How could they have been? How could they have been? So I opened it up, and I, we talked about this yesterday, and we were going, we, right. you know, we watched the games together, and yeah. you know, it's not fun yeah. watching football games with you because you know the outcome. I try to game. keep my I did a good job. You did. A good I try job. to you keep my job. mouth shut. 
But right. I did spoil it right before the kickoff of Baltimore, Kansas City. Yes. I feel bad about that because I you was did. just like, oh, okay, here we go. Right. I said, oh, here comes. Get ready for another right. Super Bowl for Mahomes. Another Super right. Bowl, another trip to the Super Bowl for Mahomes. And I, that and I, was. I opened, I opened this one up this morning after I was eating the Super Bowl. I'm like, and right. then I was like, oh, I read it. And I'm like, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course, Mr. Football would have these words of wisdom. If I, if right. we could have gotten this right. cereal bar to Dan Campbell before who yesterday, knows what happened. Who knows? What who knows what happened? But who I opened it up, and it was just kick the field goal on fourth and two, Dan Campbell. <laughs> who knew? And when I, when that was written, Eddie, he was a tight end for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. So you can imagine the confusion when I went on the field because I was actually on, uh, on on Felch and Come in the mornings back then. And yeah. they were just like, what? How could a tight end kick a field goal? And I was just like, why, why would it have to do with fourth and two when a tight like, end on the field? Yeah. Never mind, y'all. I just had to. So yeah. I didn't even hear that. And I just saw that, you know, the, the, the note today. And I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Kick the field goal on fourth and two. Now you get it. That's the title, by the way. Felch and come in the mornings. <laughs> now. Nothing Here's get your day started like, like Felton Felton. come in the morning. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, now, here's so to, now there are people who are like, what the fuck was Dan Campbell thinking? And then other people are like, well, that's what he does. That's who he's been. Sure. However, <laughs> isn't there such a thing called, well, let me kind of adapt a little bit here. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he, I, doesn't, he didn't have to fucking I, be that way the whole I, fucking time, I, did he? I get during the season, you're trying to have your team buy into this mentality of we go for it. We're a go for it right. team. We do right. this. This is our mentality. We're never yeah. backing down. But they've already bought in. You're in the playoffs. They've already bought into that mentality. And you're it's up. Two. I, you're up by was... uh, 14 points. All you do, the Niners just went down and kicked a field goal. Yeah. And ate up half of the first third quarter to do it so you're halfway through the third quarter kick another field goal go back up by 17 or erase that three points they just got on you they just had to fucking spend a month to go get and it's it just like oh so you're just like oh yeah that drive you did all for nothing that's yeah. all you do that's it all for nothing and then and, and then, then now you're kicking off and they're getting the ball probably on the 25 as opposed to the 35 or wherever they got the ball and also with momentum that they did stop that they just stopped you and I think that was the one where they were close enough that that wasn't going to be that bad of a field goal. The second one, oh, yeah. Like, the second, the second one, one was going to be about like, 48 that was going to be about like a 50 yarder. So, okay, I get it. I kind of get it. But you probably aren't even in that position if you just kick it in that first one that you're, I bet you the Lions. Because they, they literally, because they literally, after that fourth down that. stop, after that fourth down stop, Brock Purdy throws that prayer bomb 60 yards and it hits the line guy in the face mask. And then Ayuk catches it on the five off the face. Because Brock Birdie's such a special player. That's the fucking biggest piece of dumb luck in the fucking history. Of but that play but yeah, doesn't happen the if play they happen. kick a field goal and then kick off. That play doesn't happen. And then happen. the very next fucking, the first play from scrimmage, Detroit fumbles it and gives it right back to San Francisco. To, it just, oh, man, that was. Uh, kick a field goal fourth and I two don't in the playoffs. Look, I don't regret any of it. You should. You should regret you should. at least the first one. The first one you should regret. The second one, I get it. You're getting fucking desperate, whatever. But that first one, just put these motherfuckers away. Like, yeah, unbelievable. Points, points matter in the playoffs. In, get as many yeah. points as you can when and you can get them. That's all you do. Just keep scoring, keep scoring points. That's all you need to fucking do. My God. Oh, mm. well, there it is. There it is. Um, mm -mm. I'm sorry to do this, but we have contractual. Oh, fuck. I'm um, sorry, Okay. Man. Skeletor. Oh. Uh, now that we have the Super Bowl set, uh, the, yeah. the Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers, yeah. Um, yeah. there's a lot of people that are uh, saying it was, it was it, you know, the NFL scripted it so the, the Chiefs would get in because they want Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. Uh, it's that rating. easy to script. That easy. That's, why, that's how you script games because it's so easy to get people to do. And by, people, and by do... people, we mean moronic uh, conservatives who – that who who want a civil war but are afraid of Taylor Swift because she hurts their feelings. They're ready for a civil war, but oh, you show Taylor Swift in the middle of a football game and they're completely derailed. But so yeah, that's yeah, yeah those are yeah, so, those people. Sorry, 
Right. So some people say it was scripted to get them into the Super Bowl so we could have Taylor Swift there. Right. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, scripting an NFL game? Eddie, that's a wonderful question. I'm glad that you've asked me that. I, I don't believe that that's possible. I, there's only one time that I think I was the, I guess, I, I kind of understand, though. I was jobbed. If you, if I, if you, to, to use the correct term, I, I believe I was in an event that was scripted. It was a suck your own cock competition, and mm. um, I was, you know, I that's I'm kind of that guy, Eddie. I, they, what what do they say? I'm that man. I have what, when it comes to sucking your own cock. I've got, I've got dog in me. Do you understand? Does that make sense? Nope. I've yeah. got that dog in me, you know, that I, when it comes to sucking your own cock. And I was clearly ahead. Um, I was, you know, to be honest, I was almost to my balls. You believe that? Almost to my balls. But, um, well, they had to give it to Prince Adam. Do you believe that? He could barely get the tip of his own cock in his mouth. But they, they, they declared him the winner only because they said they felt bad. That's what that. Well, here's what I believe. They felt bad at how tiny his cock is. Okay, mm. and so they were like, okay. "Well, we gotta give him some sort of consolation prize." You know, I I was all the way to my nuts. So it's fucking bullshit. All right. And I would I would mind that. So I I think that was rigged. Uh, you know, in order to 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 get more sympathy. For that tiny cocked piece of shit. It's weird that he has such a small cock because his mother's pussy is the size of a fucking blimp. All right. All right. Send us now, Cody. Let's get him on now. Please. Get the rotten tomatoes. Rotten tomatoes. Get... You know, I came seven times during that. No, nothing for that either. It's, it, it, you know, it's kind of hard sucking your own dick when you've got jizz everywhere. You know, to get that, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, to me, that's more of a feat. Mm. Mouthful of jizz and my own cock. And that's not a that's not a tiny cock, buddy. Okay? Eddie, where can everybody find uh, Five days a week, patreon.com, the Ralph yep. Report. Um, oh, Tuesdays, boy. Fridays, Rumble Radio. Wednesdays, Rumble Proper. Yeah, there we go. I think the problem was uh, I had Marv Levy as my coach. I just think he's bad luck. That's to be honest, okay? So I think if you're not going to say it was rigged, I would at least, I'm not going to take the blame. I did have Marv Levy kind of, you know, coach me through sucking my own cock, and well, we all know his track record. Nobody fucking told me. All right. I didn't know <laughs> Marv Levy was good at coaching cock sucking, but <laughs> I didn't. I had no idea. So that, that was... That was... <laughs> Oh man! I think I'm gonna. Cops. I did. I, I also uh, Schottenheimer. The only other time I lost, I had a, this guy named Schottenheimer, who was in charge of me sucking my own cock. The only other time I've lost. Okay. Probably because he had you sucking on your balls, because he was big into balls. He was running. He was a running guy. Marty Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Levy, <laughs> coaching someone to suck their own dick. <laughs> Oh, Oof. where else are you gonna get this content? Man? I don't know, man. I don't know. For free? Come on. For free? Stop it. Well, there it is. You know where to find us. You know where to love us. Go do all that. We'll be back tomorrow for a regular ramble. Until then, stay safe. We love you all. Take care, everybody. Remember, subscribe, five star rating, positive text review. Spread the word. We love you all. Stay safe out there, everybody. Bye. Oh yeah.